But anyway, so I talked to this guy, Robert Kenner. I was like, hey, so uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to like figure out what's going on with all this like stuff. And so he actually kind of gave a bit of like he's basically Wait, like who's, who's Robert Kenner. Robert Kenner is the guy from the magazine. He was the voter, okay, the Grammy okay. voter. And he goes, oh, it's, right, right, right. He goes, it's kind of bullshit. He goes, this is what I think happened. He's like, I've never heard of Peter Shickley either. But what I think happened is that because this guy is the Grammy like committee, like whatever is um, it's all musicians, right? So sometimes these really like esoteric categories, like best bluegrass. Uh -huh. He's like, some sometimes they might only have fifty people actually cast their votes for them because they don't know. They or, don't know. They don't they know. Just don't they go. Know. They go. I don't know who the best bluegrass is. So he's like, what I think is happening is Peter Schickle knows all these people from classical music, from his world of classical music, and he just gamed the system and got himself. To win every year because all get his you need is like twenty votes. He's like he's like you might need for something, but I said for comedy, I was like he said that he goes some categories. He's like you can win with twenty votes. I'm like I feel like comedy is not that okay. But here's the deal: like everybody knows who Robin Williams is, right? I, but that's why I always thought that's what they vote. I'm looking at 2010 when I started noticing this: Colbert wins, Kathy Griffin, George Lopez, not in his prime, Patton Oswalt, Spinal Tap, and Weird Al runners up. They're not giving it to anyone. Actually, they're not looking. No, for they're it. they're not. So when yeah, Kinnison yeah. was nominated, it was like, oh, here's a cutting edge new guy. Yeah, you know, when Dice was like, that was his first big album. It was like he wasn't famous yet. This made him famous, right? And so like that's why I always use uh, uh, Kinane as my example because he was he had a couple, two, three great albums in a row. That were the best. Yeah. Vecchione in 2017 put out whatever it said was the best album. I, mean, I could look at 2017, 2018. I can guarantee you uh, he was not nominated. That's what I'm saying. And so you know, and, and so I guess he... It, it, David Cross way, way past his prime. Yeah. Amy Schumer live at the Apollo, which is known as one of the whatever. Uh, Margaret Cho way, way past her Margaret prime. Margaret Cho won what year? Or nominated. Nominated, nominated. yeah, and yeah. Pat yeah. Noswell wins. It's just like these are just celebrities. Right. Yeah, they're just celebrities. But like, I mean, what year was Margaret Cho nominated? She wasn't a celebrity that year. She was a celebrity in like the nineties. I know. I'm saying they yeah, all, yeah, yeah, they yeah. just know her name. They know her name. So right. if they gave it to her when she made her name, yeah, with quality work in the nineties, right? And they I go, I remember it. her. Margaret Cho in 2017 is like, oh hey, this is like a make. You're just you're not looking at these albums. You're not listening. To you're them not listening to them. No, no, you're no. Just going, I know that name. Right. I wonder if it is like they don't have to weigh in. So it's like I'm definitely gonna weigh in on best like pop album yeah i'm definitely gonna weigh in on best r&b album yeah but like best classical i might be like if i'm a voter i'm like hey i don't know anything about i'm skipping that yeah I'm just not gonna vote. but i mean like this guy's like friends with philip glass and stuff like philip glass doesn't know what the best pop album is if he's a voter or whatever like you know these the people who are like these classical music nerds they're not following who's the best pop album either i just maybe there's so many people voting but so anyways that was this guy's theory was he's like he just figured out a way to game the system but then I'm like, you did it four years in a four row? Four years in a row, not just the one. Like, if you were going to try and do this, yeah. you would do it once. You would do it once. And also, <laughs> right, it's you got to give it up for him. Yeah. I, I, but I remember when, when Aziz started making it and everyone, all these losers at the comedy store, which were my friends and I was one too. Sure. They were like mad at Aziz because he sold three pitches to, I think, either Judd Apatow's company or something. Three movies. Yeah. And they're like, what the fuck? They didn't, they didn't respect him at the time. He was an up-and-comer. Is this before Human Giant? Yes. Okay. I think or right then. Because Human Giant was hilarious. Human Giant was hilarious. Yeah. Absolutely. And people were shitting on him. Like they shot on anybody famous that wasn't in their core group of friends. Yeah. Um, and they're like, what the fuck? And then it hit a lot of us. Like, you know, he wrote three movies. Mm -hmm. You've had an idea for one that you never even wrote an outline for. Sh yeah. So what are you really mad at him? You got to give it for Peter Shickley. He made four albums in he a row. He did make four albums in a row, but again, they're like they're the same. It's just a song. It's with it's the gag. him just like as a conductor at an orchestra. A lot of it's like physical bits, like his thingy doesn't work. It like breaks right. or what? Like his or like or like you know yeah, and like they're he's like they're not following him, and then sometimes there's like a funny noise. When it's supposed to be like classical and like you're not even listening. It's not you listen to it and everybody's laughing. Right. It's it's so bizarre. And so I guess he just game the system four years in a row to the point of winning. And I wanted like so if you go on his website, I think I know where he lives, but I don't want to go. And I've emailed him. I've emailed his son, his manager. Really? I want to talk to him. He's 87 yeah. years old. He's going to die. He's gonna die. Yeah, you want to know and what the no, fucking and like, detail was? Yeah, just like, just talk about it. I mean, if you does go anyone to, know Shickley? Can you help? Nobody's Danny ever get in touch heard of him. Nobody's heard of him. 